YouTube was good, man. We back with another video. Your boy Moan, it is in the building, and it is not a good day, man. Sad day, man. Let's get straight to it, man. So, as y'all probably already know, Rich Homie Quan passed away today. And I just want to figure out how he passed away. They keep saying overdose. Uh, this, that, and the third. So, let's see what's going on. Last I checked, he didn't do no drugs. I thought I seen the interview. He didn't do no drugs no more. You feel me? He was just chilling, man. Rich Homie Quan had been away for a minute. We ain't heard no music for real from him. He was... Had had beef. He had he had he was in with his rap career. They had tried to put him down with his music or some of his label. Man, if you don't know, let's find out though. That's just a little bit what was going on. Rich Homie Corn was jigging to back to the line like just like he was just back to his old self. So, um, let's see. He, and uh, if you don't know, he did pass away today. Um, I think it's it, I'm pretty sure it's been confirmed. Everybody's talking about it. If you don't know, you're late, man. He did pass away today, as of September the fifth. So um, let's see how he he passed away, bro. Let's see. It just something just at Papa John's. Videos, and uh, we're gonna just see what these people are saying about it. No quality handcrafted pizzas, always served with extras. Better. Nah, he ain't got do it this. He on the back side. He in court right now. But the truth is, Rich Homie and Young Thug had problems. They weren't on good terms. And Rich Homie name kept coming up in that YSL trial like that. But like they say, a dead man can't talk. Now Rich Homie... What he talking about, man? Hold on, man. I think I started in the middle of the video. I ain't even... What he talking about? They don't even want to play this video no more. What's going on, man? I don't know. I think bro trolling. Oh no, let's see. Let me tell you something. Rich homie was just found dead, but something don't seem right, right, right. Allegedly, he overdosed on some bad dope, but I think somebody unlaced his joint or his drink with some goddamn fit. Rich homie called. He said he overdosed on some bad dope, man. Is that confirmed? Is that true? Cause that's all he did was, from what I know, was he either drink and smoke. You feel what I'm saying? He was only 34 years old. He was one of the hottest rappers that ever came out of Atlanta. He been doing shows. He's still selling out venues. It's still packed. His music still screaming. He doing good off it, right? He ain't have no reason to be mad at life because he got some classic hits in them streets. But ironically, in the same week that they questioned Lil Woody about the Rich Homie Corn shooting, out of nowhere, boom, Rich Homie ended up on a lie. Now no cap, though. I just seen the video that they was talking about Rich Homie Corn. They asked, bro, Woody, about Rich Homie Corn shootings. Oh, uh, his dad is shooting. So somebody shooting at the barbershop, man. I know y'all seen that. If you don't, go 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 search that up. In the same week, he died. He died. Like, my first incident, I ain't never said, but I just figured it had some correlations. Like, it just don't make sense, though. And then, if you know, we might get to the end. We should. If I can find that interview, we'll get to it later. Richard McQuan responded to that and was like, he ain't, he ain't really go how Woody was saying, though. He wasn't really... He, you feel what I'm saying? He just really ain't go how Woody was saying, though. So, let's see. Basically saying, that first statement was, do you know a liar? Like, basically, Woody be lying, and Woody admit he be lying. So, was Woody lying? He's been locked up for about two, three years now. He ain't got nothing to do with this. He on the back side. He in court right now. But the truth is, Rich Homie and Young Thug had problems. They weren't on good terms. And Rich Homie's name kept coming up in that YSL trial like that. But like they say, a dead man can't talk. Now, Rich Homie came out back in the day at the same time as Future, and he changed the sound of rap music in the rap industry. This is one of the biggest losses that Atlanta will ever face. Rich Homie is definitely legendary in that city. First bank roll. That's just, that just, that just facts, though. If you ain't really listening to Rich Homie, you need to go tune in right now. 
know a lot of people get to tune in after people pass or whatnot. But right now, go listen to that boy because he really liked that. Even them whole old hits, you can still listen to him today. And that's your facts. Then trouble, then take off. Not this. Stay off them goddamn drugs, man. man it's that's not another thing, bro. Just stay off the drugs, like. It ain't no point, like, it ain't no point. It ain't no point, man. If he went on the drugs, I don't know what really happened, but if it is true, he over there, if he had stopped the drugs like he had said, I thought he said at least, he would still be here, man. R.P. 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 Rich Homie, man. Perfect. The smoke just ain't smoking no more. That shit got no white flakes in it. That's that fentanyl, boy. Man, the folk lacing the herb to get you addicted, and they don't care if it costs you your life. As long as they trap booming, and you keep coming back, and they family eating, and they can take care of them hoes, your no ass on the menu, too. Stop you messing with that dog. This ain't That's that. That's the crazy part about it. That ain't this. That is chemicals you rolling up, not organic shit. It's stepped on, it's sprayed on. That ain't that real Snoop Dogg y'all need to smoke in these days, man. If you can't buy that in store, don't smoke. hit the blunt no more. Pookie and Ray Ray, you turn 35, man. Cause some just do not seem right. In the same week they were mentioning about the shooting the rich homie pouring out of nowhere, he just ended up dead on the line, overdose, 35. Some just don't say he was just talking crazy. about the shit too. That was scary. He was just saying what it was capping and all it's that. Him, and I'm telling you, I was just telling y'all that I ain't and not capping. He would just talk about it. Ooh, fall out and die with the blood in your head, a cup of drink. What's going on? Y'all come at me, Lord, let me know what y'all feel going on out there in the eight. Yeah, I don't know, bro. I don't know how I feel about. It. I don't know how I feel about that, man. Let me go to my watch leaders right quick. I think I put another video on here for y'all because uh, it said Rich Homie last interview. Did I not say it? I might have to go find it. I don't think I said it. Dang, let me go find it. Look, it should be pop up right here. Hold on, let me go find. I'll be right back. Hold on. Boom, I couldn't find the video, but he go. He said he got a 911 call when Rich on McQuan was found. Let's see what's going on. Does your business need to send rewards and gift cards in bulk? Try Tremendous. It's a platform. All right, y'all. So look, man, I'm back again with another video, and they have released the damn 911 call pertaining to rich homie kwan's death now before we move forward i just want to tell y'all that i hope that y'all are okay out there physically mentally and spiritually and i also want to tell y'all that i hope that everything is okay with y'all in your life and i'm sending y'all nothing but peace blessings and prosperous energy y'all way and i'm really seeing a lot of sickening things pertaining to his death and i see people talking bad about him going crazy talking just being weird right now and i just feel like it ain't the time for that be positive as you can be because you don't even understand that you're inviting that same type of negative energy back towards yourself that's why i try to continue to put positivity put because that's all i want in my life but hey that's on y'all y'all choose to do what y'all want to do it is what it is i want to send my condolences out to him and his family and anybody out there that had a genuine love for him this is very touching and it's very you know heartbreaking for a lot of different people hit it and touch the hell out of me because like i said before you know in the other video it just states that what is the location i want to stay on the line with you okay what okay and then we're one one operator seven two one four. What is the location of your emergency? All right, you need police, fire, or ambulance? I need an ambulance. Tell me exactly what happened. Um, my boyfriend, he's been asleep on the couch um since this morning. Well, he never came to bed last night. Sleep on the couch. I left him on the couch before I took my son to school this morning and put a blanket over him. And now I just checked on him again because he never got up. I don't feel a heartbeat. I don't see him breathing. And you said, hold on, you said on the couch and what happened? I said I put a cover over him because he gets a little cool and he's in the living room. And now I just checked on him because I see he never got up. And I don't see him breathing. I don't feel a heartbeat. 
or anything and I turned him over. I see he kind of foamed at the mouth. I'm sorry, are you saying he's not breathing? Is that correct? I'm not hearing you. Yes, yes. Okay, ma'am. Um, if there's yes. a defibrillator available, send someone to get it now and tell me when you have it. Is there a what? If there's a defibrillator available, send someone to get it now and tell me when you have it. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Um, okay, I'm sending the paramedics to help you now. Stay on the line and I'll tell you exactly what to do next. Okay. I need to know about how old. Ain't no way. So, from the sound of it, it sounded like he, I was off some last night, he just went to, he made it all the way home. Went to sleep on the couch, technically went to sleep. And they never wake up. Ain't no way, man, what? Old, um, he is. He's um thirty four. Okay, are you right by by him now? Yes. Okay, please put your phone on speaker so your hands are free to help. Can I add his dad to the call? He's trying to call me back because I called him first before I called you. Okay, so we need to help. We need to help your boyfriend now. Okay, listen carefully. Lay him flat on his back on the floor and remove anything under his head. He is not waking up. Quit. Ma'am? Yes? Okay, you, you got to get him to the floor. Lay him flat on his back on the floor and remove anything under his head. Flat on his back on the floor? Yes, ma'am. Help me. We'll, uh, we'll drink. He's not here. Oh. Oh. Man, this joint thing ain't getting me. He bejeebus, bro. This joint crazy, bro. This joint too crazy. Yeah, he, Were you able to get him cool. to the floor? Yes, he not. Your heart not being like anything. We need a small business loan fast. I got right. this. Loan Kenner! Oh, There's a better way to get a f- All right, now that y'all seen that, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this. Do y'all feel like it was a heart attack or do y'all feel like it was a overdose or do y'all feel like that, you know, it was something else that could have took place? I honestly feel like that it was an overdose. That's just what I feel from the signs of what we've been hearing and stuff like that. It does sound like that. But, hey, I don't know if we will find out pretty soon. I want to know your that junk crazy. What what else you got on here? What's your opinions, boom? Oh no, bro. What y'all think, bro? What y'all think, bro? What really happened to Rich Homie, man? Like his girl said he left him on the couch last night. Woke up, he was still asleep. Then come to bed, put a cover on, like cool, just get your rest, my boy. And then, you know, she took a child to come back, and then he still laying ain't moved yet, bro. Heart not beating to nothing, bro. Ain't no way. What happened last night, bro? What was he, bro? We need to see, we need to see what's, what's going on, what happened. But, yeah, man, let me see if I can find his interview, the last interview I was talking about before. Boom, we back. Man, I cannot find that interview for nothing, bro. I literally seen it earlier. But I got another little clip, man. Let's see what's going on in this video. Probably as soon as they saw Woody pull up, they already knew for a fact. Woody know the people who be selling the stuff. Y'all already know the 30s. Everybody knew for a fact that as soon as Rich Homie Kwan popped that, he instantly, he passed out like at least five minutes later, right there on the side of that red car. They said he was subpoenaed for the prosecution, but he has since admitted to lying to the police about such a plot, but the prosecution has kept him as a key witness. Between him and Woody, I don't understand how they cannot have a mistrial. They can't. I don't even know what they talking about. They, from what we heard, bro, I don't even think. Bro, the actual talking about somebody went to lay next to the car. Oh no, man! Let me find another video that'll be good. Good that makes sense. 
I really wish I could find the interview, man. I'll be back. Boom, we back with a little video. This is going to be the last one. Let's see what's going on, man. Rich Homer really gone. Like... 34. Devastating news has hit the hip-hop world today as it was revealed that Rich Homie Kwan has passed away at the age of 34. The news began breaking on Twitter due to a report from Thugger Daily. Overall, Thugger Daily has been reporting from the young Thugger. Bro, what, but at the, at the same time, why was, you know, Young Thug and Rich Homie got beef, right? They still beefing from, I ain't gonna say they beefing, but they, they, they ain't seeing eye to eye from, you know, why I bet. But how and why is Young Thug Twitter post be the first one to announce that he was dead, though? Trial, so naturally, fans saw some validity to the report. However, many were also skeptical considering Thugger Daily is not an official source. Word began to spread online with fans expressing disbelief, all while praying that Rich Homie Kwan would be okay. Subsequently, Boosie Badass took to Twitter where he confirmed the news. Adam22 also put out a message that confirmed that the artist had passed. Since the reports of his passing, numerous artists and fans alike have taken to Twitter where they have offered their condolences. Additionally, many are in complete shock over this news. It was just a couple days ago that fans were reminiscing about his music and talking about what an exceptional talent he was. Rumors about how he passed away have begun circulating, however, none of it has been confirmed or 100% verified. No matter what, this is a horrible tragedy for both his family and the hip-hop community as a whole. The artist will certainly be remembered fondly for his contributions to music and the joy he brought to so many people. The reactions on social media to his passing just go to show what a larger-than-life figure he truly was. This is currently a developing story, and some of the exact details and circumstances remain unclear. Overall, we encourage our readers to be diligent out there. Misinformation spreads fast, and it is important to decipher real from fake. Moreover, yeah. our heart goes out to Rich Homie Kwan's family and friends during this extreme... Yeah, man, he would talk about too much, but... What y'all what y'all think about it, man? Y'all heard the 911 call. Y'all heard what I heard. Gave me chills through my body, bro. Like, jump crazy. Rich Homie Corner was a real man. R.P. Rich Homie. I really want to know how he passed. Was it a was it an overdose? Was it a pill? Was it you know what I'm saying? Was it weed? Was it was it the lean? What was it, man? But yeah, man, I appreciate y'all tuning in, man. R.P. Rich Homie. I mean, all love go to his people, man. Just may you rest in peace, man. At the end of the day, comment down below what y'all thinking. Stay y'all, man.